Hungary's capital city Budapest is actually made up of three unified cities, with Buda and Obuda on the west bank of the Danube and Pest on the east bank. Much of the city has been granted UNESCO World Heritage Site status, and many visitors consider the city to be amongst the most beautiful cities in Europe. The city successfully mixes its fascinating history with a brilliant, laid-back, contemporary artistic style. Are you ready to see Budapest? Let's go! First on our to-do list is the Parliament Building. The Hungarian Parliament Building, which was designed and built in the Gothic Revival style, is one of the largest buildings in Hungary and is home to hundreds of parliamentary offices. Although the impressive building looks fantastic from every angle, to see the whole building in its full glory, it is worth viewing it from the other side of the Danube. With 691 rooms and staircases stretching for more than 12 miles, or 20 kilometers, the building is topped by an elegant dome soaring 226 feet, or 69 meters, into the sky. Ornamented with white neo-Gothic turrets and arches, the Budapest Parliament forms one of the city's most outstanding landmarks. Our next stop is at the Gellert Baths. One of the grandest spas in the city is the Gellert Bath and Spa Center, which includes an open-air pool, which turns into a wave pool, an effervescent swimming pool, a Finnish sauna, and a range of other saunas and plunge pools. Massages and other spa treatments are also available at an extra fee. The complex was originally built between 1912 and 1918 in an Art Nouveau style, but it sustained serious damage during World War II. The whole spa was extensively renovated in 2008 to bring the baths back to their former glory. The baths are open all week for mixed bathing. Pretty impressive is the Heroes Square, which marks the end of Andrasi Avenue, is home to an iconic monument which features depictions of the seven chieftains of the Magyars, who are believed to have led the Hungarian people from Central Asia to the Carpathian Basin. Atop the center pillar is the Archangel Gabriel, who is holding the Hungarian crown. At either side of the central column are two matching colonnades, which depict a variety of other historical Hungarian figures. The impressive buildings at either side of the square are art galleries. Take care when crossing to the statue because traffic around the monument can be pretty erratic. Another thing to do is checking out the Danube Promenade. This stretch of the Danube walkway goes from the Elizabeth Bridge to the Chain Bridge and is perfect for those who want a short but interesting walk. Promenading along the Danube is a great way to see many of the most famous sites in the capital. Looking over towards Buda side of the river, you will see the Buda Castle, the Liberty Statue on Gellert Hill, and the Fisherman's Bastion. On the promenade side of the river, you can enjoy restaurants, cafes, Zekenei Istvan Square, and a range of different subcultures, including the Little Princess. The Danube is also perfect for a river cruise, there's a fun dinner cruise, and a folk show with gypsy music. In the evening, it's worth checking out the Ruin Pubs. Budapest is famous for its Ruin Pubs, in which Shabby Chick is the order of the day. The best Ruin Pubs are set up in sprawling, deserted buildings which have been filled with comfortable but slightly worn out furniture. Each pub has its own unique style, so you will often find visitors referring to their favorite pub as the one with the. Popular ruined pubs include Instant, the one with the crazy animal pictures, Bogusaz, the one with the teeth, Kaplung, the one with the whale, and Zimplakert. Another absolute must-see is the Central Market Hall. 
The Great Market Hall in central Budapest is Budapest's most famous marketplace. Whilst many locals still use the market hall as a place to buy their groceries, the market is incredibly popular with the tourists too. Locally grown fruits and veg and locally sourced meats are found on the lower floors. And souvenirs including lace, chess sets and leather goods are available in the upper floors. As well as individual ingredients, it is possible to pick up homemade local delicacies like goulash and langos from the food stall upstairs. Now you are perfectly prepared for your first or next travel to Budapest. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button for more travel content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.